wrong with you? My therapist is still trying to figure it out. Are you rolling? Yeah. Mm -hmm. I am, <laughs> I'm actually sweaty. I know, my hat is <laughs> extremely sweaty. Uh, well, it's hot. It's freaking, what is it today? I think it's like 65. Uh, there's no weather on here. Oh, here. You 68, look at that. 68 degrees today. And I just had Culver's, which is, they just opened the Culver's near me, which is a new thing. Well, it's not new, but it's new to the area. Uh, it's pretty good, not bad, not bad. I had a spicy chicken sandwich. Uh, but today is really like my first day back. Uh, for those of you who don't know, Flynn, my son, who at the time was two weeks old, got an infection, we had to take him to the ER, and we spent almost a week in the hospital. So I thought I was back after he was born and wasn't. But now, assuming nothing bad happens, I'm back. But I got back. And I didn't really think about what I was going to do when I got back. So we sat down this morning, Megan and I sat down and decided I want to do a video that I've been talking about for a long time. And that is going into a Lowe's with no game plan and just putting together the best carry that I can. So I've done this on Amazon. I've actually done it at Walmart, but now I'm going to do it at Lowe's Home Improvement. My plan right now is to take out what I do have in my pockets. So I have a knife. I have a multi-tool, wallet, and a flashlight, and a handkerchief, but we're not going to focus on the handkerchief. That's my carry today, plus my watch. We're not, I'm not going to find a watch at Lowe's. Pretty sure I'm not going to find a watch. So, watch is out of the picture. What we're going to try to do is, in Lowe's, I'm going to look for a wallet, a pen, pen knife slash multi-tool, pen, flashlight, and something for the keys. I have no idea how this is going to go. Let's do the damn thing. Okay, so I used to work at Lowe's, so I have a pretty good idea of where everything is. I also spend way too much time in here, but I know that basically everything is gonna be in tools and hardware. So that's where we're gonna start and probably finish this whole thing. Knives are gonna be first. That's that's the definite first place to go. So you could go with like a utility knife. It actually wouldn't be a bad idea. These little craftsmen's are okay. I think I'm actually gonna just do a Leatherman. They look like they got white. I didn't see a Leatherman. Are we gonna have to go to a different Lowe's? <laughs> like these are cool too, they're interchangeable blade knives. And then you have the CRQT Minimalist little neck knife or the M16. Like all of these are really good budget friendly knives. That's even a Tonto. I got some flack a long time ago because of this right here. CRKT started putting this. Oh, that wait, that looks a lot like your logo. <laughs> Does it? I don't, I don't see the resemblance. Nah, <laughs> I don't see it. And that's where the Leathermans are. Here we go. So we have a weight plus and a rebar. Or a Leatherman free P2. Should I go full multi-tool or get the P2? It's $40. That would knock out multi-tool and knife. Kind of torn between the old Sharpie pins. I think realistically I'd like this. You could also get like a little mini, a Sharpie mini. Oh, those are cute. Flashlight, that's what I don't know. That is the one like unknown for me. I don't know where to get a flashlight here. I think they're all gonna suck too, like really bad. Aisle 15. That's like- Oh, they also have them up at the front by the registers. Duh. I knew that. Yeah, okay. I totally, I definitely knew that. <coughs> oh shit. Oh. Hey there, is there a project you're working on? I know more than you. All right. 280 lumens and it is massive. Not very bright and massive, massive, massive. So say all of these are like- They're so huge. Like none of them are pocket lights. This is the closest. That thing is like an inch and a half in diameter. This one is thinner, but it's it's like eight inches long. So many oh, good wow. that's what she said jokes in this. <laughs> so this is uh actually that's a good point. There's a, a lot of really good like 
he organized our stuff at Lowe's now with like nine times. If you can find one the right size, this one's a little too big. But I did a video on these being a key organizer. But I don't see any small. This one may be small enough. Actually, that's gonna be too big. So you can get a doohickey. Look at these little things. Let's go with that. I'm gonna put this up. Or that, right there. Oh, that's cool. Boom. Okay. LED light. <laughs> oh, God. It won't even turn off. Cash back, so that goes on your phone. There's the wallet. This right here, if you want to like a little ratchet screwdriver for like a little EDC pouch or something, these right here, they're $12.98 and they're ratcheting quarter inch bit drivers. A bit wrench. <laughs> it's not even moving. <laughs> Two very boring minutes later. There we go. Dang. We found this. I don't know if that's going to be any good. Probably not. My guess is no. But it's like the only thing that I would put in my pocket, flashlight wise, of what we've seen here. There's like a little bulb keychain light, but that's it. These little micro bit sets for this and this. These are actually really good for the price. And this one, the Linux one. I think that one's a little better than the Craftsman. I had this one too at home, but I don't know that it's got, it's only got six different Torx bits. I believe the Craftsman has more Torx bits because they're double-sided and these are single-sided. One last thing, um, these right here, these vice grips by Irwin are very, very similar to the Nipix. I mean, they're not quite as high quality as the Nipix pliers and these are much bigger, but they're really good. Like, I have a, pet, a pair of these in one of my uh, bags that I use a lot. Really good pliers. And these little itty bitty vice grips are really good too. I think that's it. Let's go back to the office. Need some more effort. <laughs> fingers this hurts where's your primer <laughs> i know what that's what they're Do gonna say in the comments yeah you're an idiot what do you use a pry bar for well i never use one when i need one <laughs> don't tell me this one's the wrong side <gasps> oh no is it it's not quite the same the last one didn't hurt this bad that's what my said about my last relationship it did well okay you know what <laughs> Where's your pry bar? <laughs> there you go, utilize your tools. Thanks, Tom. Little beer bombs are kind of cool. Yeah, look at this. Oh, not that. I finally got some wall art ready to go. I want to hang these here in a little bit. Sick. Okay, but that's not why we're here. We went to Lowe's and bought all these things. We spent... How much did we spend? $170. Oof. Okay, most of that was this. This is $120 Leatherman Free P2. We'll get to that. The pin selection was a Sharpie. We got this little key thing. We're going to go through all of this. Little carabiner. We got a wallet. Uh, <laughs> we got that flashlight thing. And then I grabbed these two little things here. And a little mini Sharpie. That's all we need. So in reality, if we had gone with like a more budget knife and didn't go with the Leatherman Free P2, then this would have been a whole lot cheaper, but I got a $120 tool because I thought that was probably at the time I went through all the different options of tools. I liked this one the most. Reason being the, the Leatherman Wave Plus doesn't have a pocket clip. I don't think it comes with a pocket clip. I know the Wave didn't. The rebar doesn't have a pocket clip and the free T2 didn't have a pocket clip. And I don't want a knife or multi-tool in my pocket with no clip. So the only multi-tool that had a clip was a Leatherman free P2. So I went with it. Uh, so we can talk about that before we get to the other things. You guys are probably familiar with all of the Leathermans by now. I've got way too many Leathermans. And now I apparently have one more and they destroyed the box before I ever got it. So per usual, not saying, hey, go buy these things from Lowe's. I'm showing you that if you wanted to use Lowe's for your EDC gear, there are some options 
more than anything, the multi-tool is gonna be your best bet at Lowe's. The pens, not a great selection. Key stuff, there's plenty of key stuff, and there is a wallet option that isn't half bad, but uh, your biggest thing is gonna be the Leatherman. And I like this one because, unlike the Free P4, this one's much thinner. This is just a, a smaller, more compact multi-tool. So the, the Free P2 is a good EDC multi-tool if that's what you're after. And then, of course, the big thing about it is one-handed operation. It is magnetic, unlike a lot of other multi-tools. So it free spins, that's why it's called free. It's free spinning, unless you lock it out. Your tools are all accessed from the outside. So on this Leatherman, you get an all, you have a little flat head. Both of these are flat heads. That one may also work as a Phillips with a little ruler. You have a file. You also have a Phillips and flat head over here, a bottle opener right there. You have a, a combo edge blade that is locking and one-handed opening. You have a pair of scissors that is also locking. And of course you have a set of pliers and then you have interchangeable uh, wire cutters as well. And I think that's it. Of course, a pocket clip too. So that's a Leatherman Free P2. I like the Free Series, not everybody does. I have no complaints with it really, other than they did lose like the bit driver and interchangeable bits and, and stuff like that. But there is a mod where you can put in a bit holder and get rid of these two tools. Haven't tried it, but I should probably try it and do a video on it. Maybe that's what I'll do with that one. See how that works. The wallet is actually not bad at all. I bought one of these, had one of these a long time ago. Did that get us in? Yeah, okay. So this is actually kind of similar to the wallet I have right now, which is the Travax Summit, uh, Armored Summit. Um, obviously, this one has got a little rubber band on it. This one has a little canvas band, but you can put cards on one side. Oh, it already, it already came broke. Oh God. <laughs> the rubber already broke. Cool, cool. It's okay, I didn't need that anyway. Uh, but this was about 10 bucks. Oh, it just broke again. Oh my gosh. <laughs> All right then. Um, well, don't buy that. Nothing special about the Sharpies. You guys know about Sharpies. They're great. They're fantastic. They're disposable. Uh, but I really like these. These, I think, I could carry this in my pocket without any problems. Sign papers, like if I sign a receipt when I'm eating dinner or something like that. This is fine, but uh, a regular Sharpie, I wouldn't do that with this. I can see carrying in my pocket, have a lot of uses for this. This will write on so many more things than like a typical pin will. Um, so yeah, the other options they had were pretty scant. Like there weren't a lot of different options. It was mostly Sharpies. These are the two I would go with, but if you wanted something small, they do have the, uh, the Sharpie minis, which is kind of cool. I, I wish that Sharpie would make this and a mini. That'd be Sharpie, cool. get on it. Make it happen, Sharpie. Energizer pen light, seven dollars thirty-eight cents. Uh, I genuinely do not have high hopes for this. In our defense, there was a better flashlight that they had like forty-seven of them, but they absolutely could not find any of them. Yeah, I don't know that it was better. Uh, I think Probably this takes both double A's. Yeah, and it looks batteries? like a bulb. Actually, it doesn't look like a bulb LED. This could be surprisingly good. This could be better than expected. So I believe. They go in this way. Please be better. Please be good. <laughs> Moment of truth. All right. So, seven dollar light. Uh, does that not change brightness? No, that's the same. So one, one mode. That's the only information. Thirty-five lumens, twenty hours, one meter throw. That is horrible. I don't know. It's not that good. I mean, it's fine. You know what? It's fine. For $7, that'll do, and it fits in the pocket. Seven bucks, it'll do. But I would, 10 times over, recommend spending a little bit more and getting a Lumentop EDC-01 or the i3E EOS or the i3T EOS or a Prometheus. If you wanna spend a little more money, get one of those. But there's also the Phoenix LD02 Streamlight MicroStream. 
I would not recommend getting this over any of the good AAA flashlight options that you can find on Amazon and a lot of other places, especially if that's what your budget allows. But if you can save and get just something like $15, all of these, these three are available and they're gonna be much more better suited for like an EDC purpose. Just throwing that out there. All right, and for the keys, uh, so I went with this little clip. This is another Nitize option. Uh, and I like their carabiners. They do some pretty cool stuff with carabiners. And this one is pretty neat. They're like higher end versions of this in titanium that you can find online. Um, but it's a double spring gate. So you put your keys in here and then you can drop them down here. And then you don't have to worry about your keys coming off when you clip and unclip this. Really cool for like a little belt loop carry for your keys. That's something I would use, 100%. And I think that was like, I don't know how many dollars it was. Let's find out. Probably maybe eight. Uh, G series carabiner 348. Oh, that's 348. cheap. And then I got this instead of the Nitize doohickey because I think a lot of people already know about the doohickey. Um, Nitize makes that. This is from Minute Key, so that company that does those little uh, key booths. Like you walk up and swipe your card and you can replicate a key on the spot. It's shaped like a key and the reason I got this is actually not to use with this, but to use with this, possibly. So I did a video talking about these and uh, the U-bolts. You can make these into key organizers. So what you need technically for something like this is like a little flange or something that you can attach it to a carabiner. So in theory, the way this would work, you could put this thing through here, your, put your other keys on. I hate that I'm doing this because I hate taking apart key organizers and having to put them back together. But for the sake of the argument, I'm gonna take my keys off. More O-rings, put this back on, screw this down. So these are just little connector bolts. So Chicago screws, they call them something else at Lowe's. Threaded post with screw, these are 80 cents. 80 cents, they're made out of aluminum so they're not gonna last forever. But look at this. Look what I have done. As Taylor Swift would say, look what you made me do. Well, I'm proud of you for that. I hate Taylor Swift, by the way. Uh, I don't. I know you don't. <laughs> uh, but there you go. Look at that. You have a key organizer. Boom. You have a key organizer that you can clip to your belt loop. Look at that. Okay. You know what this cost me? You what? know what this cost? What? 348 what? for the carabiner. And then this little key tool thing multi tool 498 so this was like eight bucks ish less than eight bucks no it was eight bucks 348 498 and 80 cents so here you go this is the lowe's edc uh i think the verdict here is uh well for starters this night ties wallet uh, i don't think they're all that bad right i had one and carried it for actually several months and never had any issues out of it i think this is just a bum one Obviously, if, so, if that happens to you, just take it back. They'll, they'll exchange it, I'm sure. Um, but I don't think most people are shopping at Lowe's for a wallet. There's obviously no watch here either. Again, you don't go to Lowe's looking for a watch. You don't normally go to Lowe's looking for EDC gear, except maybe a multi-tool or a knife or something like this. And then you also have this. This, I think, is a really good surprise here that you could do something like this at Lowe's. And for eight bucks, uh, that's a pretty solid little pry tool, multi-tool bottle opener. You do have like bit drivers and wrenches on it, but nobody ever uses those anyway. Um, and then you have a, a carabiner. So I think the verdict here is you're obviously not going to Lowe's for your EDC gear, but there are some things that you can find there that would be really cool. There are different knife options. They have a few. They have some Gerber knives sometimes. Some of the lower end Gerber knives, they have some really budget entry level CRKT knives like the M16 and the Minimalist, which people really seem to like. You also have um, interchangeable blades from like, uh, what is the Outdoor Edge? They have interchangeable blade knives. There's a lot of utility knife options. Uh, there are just more knife options at Lowe's, obviously, because it's a place where there are tools. Tell me how you think I did, what you would do differently, and uh, let me know in the comments down below. And also, let me know what you want to try next. I've thought about doing this at like Harbor Freight, Northern Tool, Home Depot, obviously. Target, I think, is a good one because that's a challenge because they don't really sell knives. Um, they have Swiss Army knives, but 
I think that would be a good challenge. But I don't know. Let me know what you think in the comments down below. But with that said, thank you guys for watching. Hope you enjoyed it. Be sure to hit all the links in the description down below if you want to check any of this stuff out yourself. Don't buy the flashlight. <laughs> Just don't do it. Get a different one. I'll link better flashlights down below as well. You can also go to patreon.com forward slash bestmbdc or carrycommission.com where you can get my merch and gear directly from me. Also, be sure to follow us around the web. You can find us in most places at bestmbdc. And until next time, carry on.